Panic tonight at a Target store that is part of a mall in Enfield. Shoppers there had to be evacuated after a fire started inside the store. What well, happened earlier this evening in that store just filled with smoke. Police are still trying to figure out if someone set that fire on purpose. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Enfield tonight with the very latest on that investigation. Bob, what can you tell us? Well, right now, uh, the fire department has actually cleared the scene. Only investigators remain behind. We've got the Mobile One command post here for the Enfield Police Department. Detectives are on scene. After a fire broke out in the back end of the target, it was kind of in like the sale area, the seasonal belongings. And they said they believe, fire investigators, that it was a giant box of toilet paper that caught fire. They are checking security video right now, and they're also interviewing witnesses to see if they can figure out exactly how that fire started. They're calling it suspicious at this point. However, they're saying that they're not going any further than that. An arson sniffing dog, an accelerant sniffing dog, has been brought in, the canine from the state police, and that dog has been going through the store as well. They're checking all the avenues here. Meanwhile, the fire broke out. The flames didn't get very far before the fire department put it out, but it did put out a lot of smoke. It really charged this whole building, and you can uh, take a look at it. It's a pretty fairly, pretty good sized building, and it's still pu pushing smoke out of it. And it uh, has a pretty good size uh, opening to the mall, so it filled the mall up pretty good with uh, smoke, at least in uh, where it does exit into there. Now, the good news is nobody was injured. However, they're going to wait and see exactly what's going to go on tomorrow, whether the mall will open. The target probably will not, but they're uh, ventilating the mall, and it should be open, but you should call and check if you have any questions. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Enfield, News 8.